In this video, I'm going to be talking about quick tips that will help you design your websites faster in Divi. Let's start with number one. So this one here is for, let's say you are working on your website and you want to go back in and do major changes to your website. So let's say I would come over here to this text and change a little bit of this text. So I would just go in here, go into the settings and I'm going to go into the paragraph text and I'm going to change my font here to say Poppins. So I'd rather show you this because it's easier for me to actually show you how the changes are done. Okay, so I've added 16 here. I'm also going to increase my line height to 1.8 and change my text color to, okay, let's go with that as my text color. Okay, so that's gonna be my text color. But now let's say I want to, um, add all these changes that I've just done across the whole section or across the whole page. What I'll need to do is to come over here and click on extend text styles. Okay, so if I click on that, now it's asking me throughout a header, footer and page. So this is pretty much across everything. So if you click here on this drop down, it says this section. So if you choose this section, it's going to apply it over here where we have paragraph text. It can also be to a column, it can be to a row and so on. So let's just do this to, let's say this page. Okay, so I'm going to say extend. Now notice what happens. Everywhere where there's paragraph text, it is updated. So here it's updated. It's also updated here. So that is a quick way of going in and just making sure everything looks pretty much the same. Now it doesn't only apply to text, it also applies to any part of Divi. This could be a button, this could be a section settings, it could be row settings, it could be pretty much anything. So extend styles is very, very important if you want to uh, work really fast in Divi. Let's move on to the next part. And the next part is your shortcuts. So to get your shortcuts, in fact, let me just show you where they are. I'll just click here on the bottom. In fact, let me move myself because it's hiding right here. So you see where you have this question mark. If you click on that, that question mark, you get this pop up, right? If you click here on shortcuts, this gives you now all the shortcuts that you can use within Divi, helping you work super fast. So there's a few that I use. So uh, if we take a look here, exit, ex exiting the visual builder, it's command E. If you're on a PC, it's control E. Uh, exit the visual builder, it's command, I mean, exit to the backend builder, it's command shift. Now let's try some of these and see how they work. So for example, I'm gonna do command S to save. So I'm gonna go in and hit command S and you can see on the bottom right there, that little spinny thing, it's saving my design. So now I can do command E if I want to exit the visual builder completely. Now you can see here, I've exited the visual builder and this is how my design looks. And if I need to go back, you can just click on that and I can go in. So there's also other shortcuts that you can use as I've shown you here on the bottom. So if we go again on expand settings and click here on this question mark, you can choose some other ones that you may want to use. So in my case, I use the undo and redo. I also use exits. I also use sometimes exit to backend builder. Uh, but it's up to you which ones you want to memorize. We also have Command Plus to zoom in. So this here is ideal if you want to uh, take a look at what your website looks like uh, when you zoom in. So if I do that, you can see here that it goes straight into tablet view. I can go again and this go now, goes now into the phone view. And this is just by using my Command Plus and Command Minus. So let's say I want to zoom out and go to, say, my tablet view. That's right there, command minus, and I can do command minus one more time. And now I'm back to my desktop view. So that's a quick way to zoom in and zoom out as you're designing your site. So this will save you uh, a bit of time when it comes to clicking, clicking all over the place. The other normal way you would do it is to come over here and click that and then click this like that. But of course, like I said, you can use your shortcuts and that will make things easier for you. Okay, so let's talk about the next item. So the next thing here, I don't normally use this, but the feature is there if you need it. In fact, let me move myself out of the way again. So when you click here on this search, right, what happens is you get these uh, quick shortcuts. So if I hit insert, let's say I want to add in a button. So you'd click here on insert and then you can type in button. 
And there we go. So if I click now on this button, notice that I have this plus following me. So I can pretty much go wherever I want to go and add that button. So let's say I want to add it uh, below this text. Do you notice how it's creating space for me? If I just click once, now my button is there just like that. I mean, this is super, super awesome. So this will save you quite a bit of time as well. So just know that if you go in here, you click on insert, and then you can choose whatever it is you want to insert. This could be, let's say, a row. So I'm going to say row. And if I click on that, again, this thing will come up and it will follow me where where I need to add my row. So if I need to add it here, I can just click on that. Now my row is added. So this is how easy it is to go in and use uh, some of uh, these uh, quick features to help you design your websites super fast. Okay, so my next example here is going to be your front end editor and how you can go in and start designing your templates without going to the theme builder. So this was a uh, recent update. So now what happens is you notice that we have the, the boundary here for our sections, our rows and our modules. Now, when you go to any part which has a template, notice what happens. Now we have a footer template here. So it shows in this different color here, showing us that this is a template. So I can actually go in and start editing it right here without actually going. In fact, you know what? Why don't I show you how we how you would do it normally? So normally you would come over here to your dashboard, come all the way down here to Divi and then click theme builder if you wanted to edit that footer and then click here on this gear icon. And then now you start editing your footer. But this quick way is going to save you a lot of time. Let me just close out of here. So now I'm back here on my front end. Now, by the way, this will show up everywhere where you have templates. So if I were to come here now, I can just click on edit footer. And straight away, I can start editing my footer over here. So uh, let's say I want to extend uh, my uh, text here. I can just go in. In fact, I'll first uh, make a few changes. So let's say I want to go in and Let's go into the design, text, links, and let's say I want to reduce the size a little bit. Okay. And I also want to reduce the line height. In fact, let's leave it at 14. So let's say that's what I need to do here. Uh, I can now extend this. I can just click here and extend textiles. And this time I want this on this section. So I'm going to click on that, click extend and everything is now updated. Fantastic. So I've, I've extended all my styles and this is on the actual footer. So how do I get out of this footer design uh, mode? All I need to do is to click anywhere out of it and now I'm back to my front end design. So again, if I hover over it, we have this color, but as we're working in it, you will not see that color. Now, there won't be any confusion here because if I start to say uh, designing, uh, let's say this button here, it then takes me out of the mode over here on the bottom. Again, saving us a lot of time than just going uh, through the theme builder this way. So that's a quick tip that's going to help you design your websites super fast. All right. So my next tip here is to do with multi-select. So let's say I want to make changes to all these three items at the same time. So what I could do is I can hold down my command key and I can click to select, click to select, Click to select just like that. Now I can go into the settings and start making my changes. So let's say I want to change the text of this. I can just go in here into design, go into text. Let's say I want to change the color, make it lighter. Do you notice how everything just changed together at the same time? That is super cool. So multi-select is really, really important if you want to work fast. Now, not only does it end there, anything else that I go in and design is going to be applied to all of them. So let's say I want to go in and add a background. So let's say I add the background. You notice how the background now has gone to all three of them. Super cool. Okay. Now I can continue designing this. So let's say I want to go into my spacing here and add some padding. It's going to be 20 top and bottom, 20 left and right. So I can continue now designing all this, knowing that the um, settings I'm applying to this are all being applied to all of them just by doing multi-select. So let's say I want to add a border here. I can just add my uh, border like that. Let's go with six. 
And just by doing that, I was able to go in quickly and edit three things at the same time. So I can click away and now it's gone. So that is how multi-select works. So these are the quick tips that are going to help you work faster in uh, Divi. See you in the next video.